Okay guys, here we are with the new ESM Models um, Hawker Hurricane. Um, it's offered by uh, VQ Warbirds. Um, we're getting ready to start uh, installing a cockpit in this one. Uh, I just got it in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I generally show you how what I'm going to cut out. I'm going to uh, take the whole cockpit area out, just come straight across behind the headrest and take this whole area out and uh, go ahead and install the cockpit from there. Um, I've gone ahead because uh, when if you want to make a slide canopy, it's got you know it's got the rails lines back here already. I've gone ahead and, and pulled a um, a thicker canopy. Uh, the other one seems to get really flimsy when you uh, if you make a cut. This one's a little bit thicker. Uh, I pulled this one out of 04. It turned out pretty pretty good and pretty clear. Anyway, um, you will, we will end up on this model um, to put the. Uh, cockpit in we will have to end up taking out par partially this um, part of the servo tray we probably won't touch uh, these two servos here just have to take out part of this um, front piece here so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut out and um, we'll go from there okay here we are back at the um, cockpit area I've, I've removed the whole area here and I've left probably about a 132nd lip on this right across on each side. And then I took out all the um, previous dash that, or, or the cockpit or the gauge that they had. On the bottom, I want to show you where those two squares were. I have taken that all the way back flush with those squares. And then I came back and um, I took out flush with those squares. Then I came back and... Um, where this these side rails came down, I cut straight back there and opened this up, and it's right at five inches between the two uh, from here to here. All right, on the side rails that went up, I took the piece that come out in between in the middle, and then I sanded these until they came to a point up at the top at the cockpit area. Might be able to see these a little bit better. You can see where I have um, sanded this at an angle. Where it comes down in there and, and just uh, blends it back into the full size that was down at the bottom. We had to do this to install the cockpit. So um, I wanted to show you how I got that uh, installed there. The next thing we had to do is you lose your stiffness up here when you take this area. Now you can see how that side will flex. What I've done on this side, I have restored the strength there. I'll show you how I did that. I took some um, one six. I know everybody's got a scrap box. I took a sixteenth inch piece of um, balsa. You uh, a good medium would be best. I cut it a half inch wide, and, and I come in here and right inside the frame here. And you won't go sixteenth. You don't go eighth because you you don't want to change the shape of your um, your side here. So anyway, I take it and I cut it to the length from the former back to where the rail starts here. And like I said, a half inch thick. And once we get that done, we want to go on the inside and take some um, 80 grit sandpaper and sand it. And you want to just, what this does, it gives the glue something to bite to. So we sand this once it's cut to length and cut to size. And epoxy that with five minute epoxy and just hold it with your um, um, clothes pins and let that dry. Once you have that piece in, you're gonna come in below it with a, take a piece of eighth inch, the same length, eighth inch balsa, sh sh cut it to a half inch and glue that down below it. So you got a sixteenth inch by a half and then you got an eighth inch by a half going down here below that. That will really strengthen up this area. Once you got those two pieces in, you're gonna come back with another 16th inch piece that's a uh, 3 8 inch wide and glue it until it butts up against the eighth inch piece down there. So what we've done, we've just made this area thicker here. What you end up with, you see a little bit, there'll be a little bit of, um, you'll see a little bit of balsa here. And all you do is take a sanding block and sand that until it flushes back up with these sides here. And it, it just it makes a slight contour, but what you're doing, you're not you're not you're leaving the eighth inch. You're hardly even touching it at all. You're just cleaning off those two sixteenth inch pieces until they meet. This gives us a good lip to glue onto. 
So I'm gonna go ahead, I've got the first side done. Let's see, turn this around. You can see here, well, maybe you can, I can't, I can't get the lighting everywhere. But anyway, there's, there's a, the eighth inch piece, the 16th inch piece on top and the eighth inch, but it blends down and that's, that's all glued in with five minute epoxy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we'll go from there. Okay, you can see here, I've got the other side glued in and you can see the lip I was talking about. And what we're gonna do is, on the cockpit side, the cockpit side kind of contours down. I made it this way because it's so narrow here at the top. We need to widen it out a little bit to get to some details on the sides, on the inside. So anyway, all you do is take this and we start sanding it. And we're bringing this, the top edge, back flush with this 130 seconds here. And we're going to go in just at a slight angle because our, our fuselage side, or our cockpit side, goes in at a slight angle. Now you can do do a little bit and then, then you can fit the uh, cockpit in itself and um, go from there. But anyway, I have evened that up and you can feel how it contours down in there. And once we get the sides in, you'll be able to take your finger and feel to see if it's contouring correctly. And um, then you can take off a little bit more at a more of an angle if you need to, to get that in. All right, I'm gonna go get the cockpit. Um, the, uh, the base of it together and then we'll go from there. Okay, here we are with the base base cockpit. You got the sides and then the and the floorboard. Anyway, I want to show you, you can see that we I contoured this so we end up with more room down inside the cockpit. So I'm gonna, what we have to do is like on all the cockpits, this is a one piece, it, it'll fold up and then along that um, seam there, you just, you, we're gonna cramp it. It's, it's right along the edge. We're gonna crimp it all the way across. Okay, and we'll do that on both sides. And that uh, that will allow us to uh, lock this in place. But anyway, but first, what you need to do, we're, we're looking at the sides here. You see how wide the top is here and down the sides. All right, here's how we have to cut it. All right, what we're gonna do is Temporarily, we're going to leave a lip. This is so it can hang on a few slot sides until we get it fitted. All right, you're going to cut measure from the back edge, this is the back, to the front four inches, and we're going to leave, you can leave all of it or just, I, I left about a quarter inch, and then we'll cut the front off here. All right, then down the sides, you need to contour this from just above the shelf here down to zero on both sides. This allows it to contour down the sides of the fuselage. All right, we're going to do that to both sides, all right? I will show you one of my early, my early fittings. I'll show you how it goes in there. But um, what we're gonna do is just comes from the bottom and we're gonna, I just hook this on the sides until we get it all fitted. What we're gonna do now is take this and fit the dash in and make sure everything works before we glue it in place. Okay, that's, that's how easy that is to fit. And now what, what we also can feel, we can rub the edges here and see if that contours evenly down the sides to make sure we have a good area to glue to. Um, I still got a, just a little bit, I got a little bit of a uh, high place right there. I got to sand it just a tape. So when I glue it in, I can just, just right in place. All right, I've got all this set up. I showed you how this is done. Now I'm gonna show you how to put the cockpit together before we in, install it.